Yet another new CSGO Pro tips and tricks video. We're gonna start it off from Vinny's POV. He's holding upper pop from this pipe corner position that also works as a throwing spot. So when the time comes, he just aims like shown, a bit left from the ladder and left click throw. Smoke does this cool little bounce and then when you climb up the ladder, it works as a one way. Those lights will help you. Plus when enemy comes too close, you have an advantage as well. Vinny gets pretty easy frag onto Kusta who casually wants to breathe this fresh smoky air and brings his team back into a four versus four situation. Awesome stuff. Next up, Dust2 and Vexed Gaming with an idea that doesn't require any complicated lineups. Okay, technically one guy needs to know the Xbox smoke, but you can even throw it from lower tunnel, which is easy for all dude non-perfect. Then they stack three guys in the Xbox smoke, wait for it to disappear and then triple peek short. You probably know that it's pretty hard to hit the Xbox peeking head from short. No wonder how impossible it is when you can see three heads. Cool little detail that I really enjoyed to watch. Also, Russ started this round with his clock Moonrise, but mid round he picked up CT imperial dragon if you want to pick up some skins for yourself then this video sponsor freeskins.com could help you out totally gambling free they are gpt aka get to paid site you can simply earn skins by watching videos installing plus trying out new games or completing surveys there are no hidden fees every 1000 coins is worth of one usd at the top of the list all users have nine featured offers that are most commonly completed and have reliable payouts for example play lords mobile attack level 2 monster and redeem over 1000 coins very nice. Here you can see the leaderboard. Firstly the fame, secondly you can get up to $10 per day just by rocking the leaderboard. Surely not a bad bonus on top of everything. Now if you think this method is more effective than writing skin begging letters to YouTubers, <coughs> You can grind here and finally come to the withdrawing section. Here are no trade holes, just enjoy top notch skins with a speedy delivery. Of course there are other withdrawing methods and much more than I could possibly mention in this brief overview. So I'll leave the link in the video description, go earn your skins and have fun. All right, here we have NA battle with some NA smoke. Smoke wall on nuke is like totally feeling less HF in the chat at the beginning of every game necessity. Firstly, MOTM does the regular cross smoke so other dudes can get to their throwing positions and that's why I like this wall. With those close throwing spots, it's almost impossible for CTs to ruin the smoke wall with a Molotov as smokes will land just too fast. JT hugs the red box, aims like shown in the middle of this smaller post and left click throw. Here's your first smoke of the wall and OC is responsible for the second one. He lines himself up with this blue box, aims at the top of the thingy, walks till he hits the crate and left click throws. It's a simple wall throw that will injure a quick and consistent second smoke of the smoke wall. Feel free to use even one of those for your future walls when you're already closer here. Just make sure to watch out for CT side aggression. Next up, Sipnix holds himself in the longhouse quarantine for quite a while, then corner position. You can see a bit of hesitation while aiming and we're already good at this guys. What does it mean? It means that there's a chance for a fail. In fact, that was a failed Molotov. Now I looked at the timer and it already seemed a bit strange to Molotov doors in that late of a round to just to clear the door corner but at the same time block them into the longhouse. Of course I had to hop onto an offline server, I tried the same line, couldn't get it anywhere near to the ground so it would have a chance to actually work. And then I found out that he most likely wanted to aim one dark line to the left and then come down from this one. When you now jump throw, it's actually a pretty unique molotov that gets just the left side of the long door area, so if anyone is there, they would most likely need to face the door gap to escape. What a Sipnix brain level of molotov that is. A wonderful idea and it makes 100% sense to use it even in the late round scenarios because it won't block your own runway as you can run out from doors without fire damaging you. Super general. Nuke and the guy who lately has been featured a lot because of his flash game. It's frozen and of course with another unique flash, just watch it first. Take out a frag onto full blind Queenix. Here's his POV. He saw the flash coming but most likely thought it's gonna go lower but surprising bounce back got him nice and white. Now it may seem complicated but it's actually not that hard, just get stuck behind that door and crouch. Aim in the middle of this white kinda square, then stand up and walk plus hug the wall till you get stuck behind another edge. This one. Crouch again and left click throw. I believe it works the best when you're smoked off but nevertheless it should make enemies uncomfortable at two common angles. Feel free to try it out yourself. 
we're gonna continue with Nuke and Tapson's POV. He has a cool single smoke for blue box area to block off vision from hell. Firstly, flash to distract potential danger from CT side, then hack the red box, aim like shown, plus left click bro. A very easy lineup for useful smoke like that. They combine it with a mini slash main smoke to go to big garage. In this case, just Yuan flat row counters it too well, climbs on the box and uses this smoke as a one way for himself. Gets one frag plus ties to keto. Overall, well done from both sides. If you want to get a well done from me, then just be a subscriber. I will now raise the music again before hopping onto the next clip so you easily have like three seconds to do so. I may have already showed you this idea by old NIP, but this is new NIP and for some of you it's surely something you have never seen before. They make a two-man tower outside of the heaven railing, not on top of it, plus before that Lecro nades connector door, so when knock gets on the top, he could see anyone pushing in connector. He could see their legs first, it means enemies can't really see him from that angle. Knock also worries about the potential four-man boost that pro teams sometimes try in the beginning of the round, but in this round, no four-man boost and sadly no one wants to show themselves in connector either. Kinda boring. Next up we are on train with Chaim. He gets stuck to this wall edge position, aims around his dark mark on the wall and right click throws. This will be your close smoke for lower. After that he misses this potentially godlike flash but doesn't matter as you should have a similar lineup from my previous videos. Let's talk about the smoke though. Firstly it's easy to remember. It gives you or your teammates a chance to play around it and see connector. Secondly as it lands very close it blocks some of the possible molotovs and as it's not that common lower smoke it may make your enemy think it's a flash plus try to dodge it. Also afterwards you can play close to the smoke and use the legendary light trick as there a great light source behind the smoke, a pretty neat idea from a guy who always saves his AWP. Nuke plus Chris J at T spawn. Mouse Porch in general doesn't invest too much into this round. Deagle force buy it is, but Chris decides to buy a smoke and throw it at the very beginning of the round in a way I have never seen before. Get behind the edge here, aim at the bottom line of those windows plus jump throw. Smoke has one checkpoint on silo, but finally lands close to mini, blocking off mini guy's vision and the view from the big garage defender is not the best either. I would say it's a good budget way to deny some important outside info for CTs. Use it well. Alright, does too and Tapson's POV with an usual idea but the lineup I haven't seen before. It's almost full eco for big, he positions himself on the stairs edge aims at the top middle of this dark wannabe window and if it's the right time then jump throw. Smoke bounces off from the skybox and goes pretty deep into the long compared to the regular long cross smoke. Considering Peak's investment into this round, they got a bomb plant plus two weapons away from enemy side, it was rather a success. And as you can see, with this smoke down, CTs have hard times to properly guard A from long, coolio as that. <laughs> Let it rain on Inferno. Pistol round it is, its phases be executed, but I'll be focusing on Rain's nades. It takes this wall hack position. Make sure there's a tiny gap between the antenna and the wall. Now aim like shown. Chump throw a Molotov first, it lands to coffins, wait a bit and follow it up with a chump throw smoke. If anyone is holding from coffins plus they don't push the Molotov in the first place with a following smoke they should simply be isolated from the bomb site. It's cool that smoke uses Molotov to bloom early but some flames will still be there behind the smoke. So if they would like to push the smoke they would take damage because of that. All in all important two pieces of utility that let FaZe Clan to get a bomb plant pretty much for free. Art Legion against VP on Inferno and here I saw this by Krat. Nothing too special, just a chump that looked like another alternative lineup for Car Molly and sure it was. But before we hop onto offline server to present it, here's also alternative safe plus easy way to smoke off banana from B by Sviat. Molotov's throwing position is easy, yet pretty open corner, so you need to be sure they are not peeking you, then aim at the dark dot you can spot on the wood, plus jump throw. It gets all the car corner, forces them out and surely makes T's in general a bit more uncomfortable. You can use the same line with a flash for example, why not? Smoke is pretty self-explanatory, line yourself in the middle of those barrels, aim at the roof line, plus casual left click throw. A safe throwing spot that grants you with a perfect defensive B smoke. Simple as that. 
you can put 1000 vacuum cleaners onto work, there will still be dust too, and that's why it's good to know some moves for it. Here is again Frozen with an awesome after plant flash for a bomb site. He throws his flash into this window, as when it explodes inside it, the height of the flash will blind most of the A-plat players, you may see it coming, but it's surely an uncomfortable one for many after plant positions. Just do it. Dust 2 in eyes of Nico. firstly flashes to the left side over the longhouse building, these will work especially well for pit guys and guys that are crossing to pit, and since they pop behind your teammates they are 101% safe. Secondly a safe molotov for car, he climbs on the barrel, aims at the top edge of this thingy on the wall, plus jump throws. This is how you molotov car without exposing yourself, plus thirdly he does his version of one of the cross smokes, I'm not gonna pause it here as YouTube should have this epic pause feature still working. Never know though. Next up overpass and drops, nothing too special, just a move I haven't seen used that much, yet it can be very effective when timed right. Rops gets one frag, then Grease crouches, lets Rops use him as a chair so he could have a nice angle towards banana. For an after plant situation you could also boost over the box from the same direction, but this type of still angle is surely an off angle and could work well in certain scenarios. This smoke by Dupree right here is historical because I have never covered a smoke that uses a spawn point as a throwing position. He sees that he has mid spawn that's lined up with the fence cap, aims at the corner where those dark lines meet and jump throws right when the round starts. No doubt that it's officially the quickest long corner smoke in the game for now, smoke bounces off from the longhouse roof pillar and lands to its home. I just have to hop onto offline server and try it out as well, firstly you have to understand the right spawn for that, I believe this blemish on the small wall and fence gap work fine to identify the right spawn, then just aim plus jump throw the smoke. If everything is correct you should be granted with a long corner smoke, stylish stuff, historical scenes over here, please get the camera. CT spawn and taps and climbing those boxes to achieve this self boost off angle that some of you already know, but there are always some lads who forget things, so here you have it, a wonderful solo way to surprise your opponents coming out from me, doors. Train and the grenade from not a nade queen but queenix. He gets stuck here behind the edge at a bomb train, breaks the class, plus aims at the top of this narrow pipe runs a bit and jump throws. If anyone would be close to the upper stairs, they would get some serious damage because Nate has a great speed and in the end it bounces down from the pipes hanging close to the ceiling. Surely a great lineup, not too hard to execute it, feel free to test it out yourself and think about the fact that you will be missing lots of new cool ideas, new unique content when you don't hit the subscribe button right 